All right, Aaron, what are we doing today? Well, today we're gonna be doing somewhat of a science experiment and it's gonna be an experiment in overpenetration. We've had some comments on our channel regarding different types of bullets that we've showcased as well as different types of weapons. Calibers, hollow point versus full metal jacket, yep. soft point, that kind of thing. Yep. Okay. And one of the things we brought up previously is the possibility of overpenetration. Mm -hmm. Some people were not really happy with our explanation of it and seemed to think that it is impossible for that to be an issue. So today we're gonna test that theory with a couple of urban mock-ups of some some walls that are using just standard industrial drywall and some two by fours there's nothing inside of here there's a stud in the middle of these two this is what we would consider a reasonable facsimile to the kind of walls you would have uh, interior walls you'd have in your home or in an apartment building and as you can see here we're using a watermelon to simulate the target not the best analog but Definitely not the worst. Maybe someday we'll do an homage to Paul Harrell's meat targets. We are running through the possible scenario of you having to defend yourself in your home and what would happen if you strike your subject and a bullet happens to either go through or not, or if you miss your subject and you happen to hit another surface and see what happens if we have any over penetration issues with that as well. Because two of the rules in gun safety are know your target and what lies behind it and never point your gun at something you aren't willing to destroy. That which may be destroyed could be your personal property, the personal property of a neighbor, especially in an apartment complex that has paper thin walls or in a really unfortunate situation of a completely uninvolved individual in a different room that's just adjoining or sharing a wall. As with any self-defense scenario, you are responsible for every round. So that is what the crux of our experiment is going to be today. Let's get into it. Before we continue, two quick reasons why we're starting with nine millimeter. Number one, it is the slowest round we have with us currently available. Number two, nine millimeter is probably one of the most common uh, calibers used for self-defense scenarios in somebody's home, in an apartment or elsewhere. So we figured we'd start with the most common and slow us around and move on from there. So I thought that Aaron was going to be taking these shots since he's clearly the better pistol shooter, but now I get to show how bad I am again. So. Uh, what did we say, three shots of? Three shots, one at the target, one at the stud above it, and one at just the drywall. Woo! Yep, that, we should have bought more watermelons. So we got our two hits on the drywall there and the one with the watermelon. Let's look at the back. We definitely went through the drywall. Went through oh. with all three, yeah. Drywall does not stop anything, hardly. We're gonna need some cleanup. Call housekeeping. Housekeeping. But, um, very tasty. <laughs> Got some seeds though in a seedless watermelon. So now we're gonna go to nine millimeter FMJ. I'm gonna try to take the same shots. There's one, two, three. The hole down there, that one went through. I hit the stud, I think, here. Uh, if you didn't hit the stud, yeah, you hit the stud, and it still went through. It diverted slightly. It went down slightly, but it looks like it did go through the stud. And look where it, and it hit there, which is. Oh yeah, oh, time out. As you can see, we put another mock wall here to show that you still have plenty of moving power. You still have plenty of energy in that round. That round that came through that stud still had enough to come and penetrate another wall. We started with hollow points that are gonna have the least amount of penetration in addition to being the slowest round we have. So I think it's safe to assume that everything else we shoot from here on out is also gonna have devastating effects 
on the drywall. So I think we can expect similar results. It's just a matter of how bad it is. With that said, let's step it up significantly. This is our new target. We've got a wall, then the target, then another wall. And we're going to shoot at this one with one round of double op buck. Because Joe Biden said get that double barrel shotgun out and put two blasts. Put that double barrel shotgun and fire two blasts. But in all honesty, a lot of people look at shotguns as the premier home defense weapon. A lot of people subscribe to what some people would consider the FUD lore of the simple sound of racking a shotgun is enough to scare an intruder off. Woo! Oh! Wow. Meanwhile, okay, this is actually important. The wad is lodged. In the wall. Very deeply in the wall. There's a hole that wasn't there before from part of the shotgun shell. <laughs> Meanwhile, all the pellets. We had quite a bit go through there. Yeah. Yuck. Our unfortunate target that we didn't want to destroy um, is, <laughs> uh, why don't we step it up to 5.56? Five, okay. Five, yeah. Now, before I forget, once again, I want to thank American Marksman for supplying all the ammo in today's video. You guys are amazing. And everybody watching this video, you should definitely go check them out. For our next test, we are using a fake exterior wall. Basically, it's the same as the other ones. Uh, on one side, instead, we have plywood, uh, and then we have siding on the outside. Uh, and then inside, we actually have a layer of insulation. Again, this is not to code. Any construction workers can correct us down in the comments, but for functionality purposes, good enough. Right, Aaron? Yes, sir. You're just saying that because you're cold. All right, next up, we are switching over to 5.56. Five, I've got some M193 here, so full metal jacket. I can't see the glare. Uh-huh. Yep, that's the hole. She got smoked. I'm trying to figure out where the other... I think we may have actually stopped. I didn't realize that you would put it right up against the other wall. That, that invalidates results a little bit. That was the only way we were gonna get to stand you're, up. you're right, I get it. So... I wanna see the back of this Oh well, yeah, again. so it's right here. It may, it may have, have been actually... stopped by the wood. What? It may have been stopped by the plywood. Yeah, I don't think. Okay, let you Let's know pull what? Pull the drywall off. Yep. Rah! Oh, the insulation stopped it. <laughs> it did. Did it really? That or it bounced back. It's in there. Is it flattened? It is flat. Oh, that's so cool. It took some walls, a watermelon, and, a and, a bit of and three and a half <laughs> inches of fiberglass insulation. We were gonna do something real quick off camera because I wanted to make another one of those uh, flattened 5.56 five, rounds, but we didn't have a watermelon in between the two walls and the 5.56 five, round went right through the exterior wall. So it looks like it might have gone through sideways. Oh yeah, that key hold. Uh, so that just goes to show how much that round did get slowed down by even something as simple as a watermelon, but still had enough for power to get into the wall versus a total miss in this case went all the way through. I think that's really interesting. Albeit not many people are defending their homes with a World War II service rifle such as the M1 Garand. But 
I really do love 30-06 and I really do love the M1. So I'm curious just to see how devastating this is to everything. <laughs> oh! That's a lot of damage. I'm sorry, there's one more gun. Okay, the pièce de résistance. Uh, I don't know if you can beat the grand finale. This is a one ounce slog out of the Benelli M4. Get my ears on, geez. Slug and wad. Yeah, slug and wad. Oh no. <laughs> Look at that one. Yeah. And that one. Oh, it gets oh. worse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a hole. And that's a hole. Be careful using a slug for her home defense. All I gotta say. Okay, one hollow point round through all of the walls, no target in between. Just to see if how far it'll go. Right here. Okay. Right here. Okay. Yep, you right got here. A hole. It came out. I shouldn't be surprised, but it kind of surprises me. Nine millimeter FMJ. Oh, that definitely went through. There, 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 and there we go. Some would argue that there's a better than one in eight trillion or whatever chance that a bullet that you sh So be careful and know your back's up and what's beyond, cause it matters. Aaron, have you have you calmed yourself down? Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm breathing again. I use my coping skills. You taught me alcohol. <laughs> Obviously, today's video didn't go quite as we had hoped, just because of the wind, the environment. We can certainly revisit this because this is something we'd like to do a more in-depth test with. We kind of just wanted to see how these mocked-up walls would work out, and I'm actually quite pleased with how they did. Other than you know blowing over in the wind. We've got some upgrades coming to the ranch in the coming months that'll make that a lot easier. But if you have a specific caliber or number of calibers you'd like to see us do, and we're going to be upgrading the, the target analog here, and we'll maybe even throw some stuff behind the walls to see if it gets destroyed or how badly it gets damaged. And in that vein, if you have other video recommendations, other stuff you'd like to see as far as penetration tests, uh, armor stuff. We've got some stuff coming. We've got some news coming, but if you have other suggestions or things you'd like to see, drop a comment down below. Let us know what you'd like, and we'll see what we can do to pull that off for y'all. The point that we made here today is whether or not somebody is behind any of those walls, it is possible for you to either miss a shot or hit your target and have a bullet still over penetrate, and there's still a chance that you can hurt somebody else that you didn't intend to hurt. Yep. You always train to not miss, but you also have to assume that there's a chance that you are going to miss. If you don't feel like you should be taking a shot because you don't think that you can make it, that's, that's a, that's a line you have to draw. What do you say we get all packed up, get somewhere where we're warm, we'll finish up what we need to do before you go back to Nebraska? Sounds good. All right, we will see you guys next week. Stay safe, stay warm, and don't over penetrate. That's gonna do it for this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing to the Phantom Llamas Den. Go check us out on X, Instagram, phantomllamasden.com. Go follow us on Twitch, where we get really weird on the weekends. As always, don't take life too seriously. And make it a great day. Bye-bye. Can't wait to hear all the issues you guys have with the test that we did today and its accuracy. You said you were fine, stop it. <laughs> <laughs>